Hey, so we're talking shoes. So I'm taking you to my personal shoe library. These are the six pairs of shoes that right now I'm sorting through, uh, rotating through in my running. Uh, and I want a disclaimer. I do not endorse any of these shoe companies. I do not have a shoe deal yet. So I'll walk you through each one. They all have a different uh, type of style. These are ultras and they have no heel to toe drop. So you see that they are basically a flat cushioned shoe. I use these in the gym. I use these for very short runs or a little speed work uh, and sparingly, not for a lot of mileage. The Newton Gravities are a three millimeter heel drop. Nice that they show you right there on the side. They also have these cool kind of lugs on the bottom. They really promote the forefoot uh, landing or midfoot landing. And I'll use those also occasionally and sparingly, not for high mileage, but for like a quick run or a quick tempo run. The Carhu Ortix, these are about a five millimeter drop. And I will use these for a longer run. I've used these in races, and they are a great shoe that really uh, promotes a midfoot and helps roll to the forefoot. These are a Kenyan shoe brand uh, that I really love, that's really cool. They are really nice and uh, uh, designed for a midfoot strike. They're called Endas. And uh, that heel toe drop is about five millimeters. This you may recognize as the Hoka. Hoka is a very popular shoe brand right now. They have very cushioned shoes. And this uh, toe drop is about five or six. And I'll use that for a longer run where I want lots of cushion because I don't want too much impact on my body, but I want to run longer. And the last pair is Brooks. These are uh, Brooks Levitate. They have about an eight millimeter shoe drop, which is the largest that I've got. And I'll use those pretty sparingly. I'll go out for, uh, I use those for walking a lot. And I'll use them for a shorter run or a day when I feel really beat up and I want a little bit of cushion. Either one of these two pairs is what I'd probably use. So uh, the advantage to rotating shoes instead of wearing the same pair every time you run is it gives the foam uh, inside the shoe a day or two to really come all the way back. If you wear the shoe every single day for walking and for running, you're going to wear out the, like the foam and the rubber inside the shoe much more quickly. It'll shorten the life of the shoe, and you'll be using the same muscles to run in that one shoe and walk in that same shoe. You can see these six pairs are actually pretty different. They uh, each have a different style. They have a different toe drop. They have a slightly different shape and that helps uh, diversify the muscles that I'm using when I run in each different pair of shoes. Send me any questions you have and enjoy.